Wheels on vehicles. Okay, so the setup is the same that you would do for a single wheel. Difference is now there's more of them and they are a child of some vehicle. As you can see, they move along with the vehicle as I move the vehicle, which is what you want. Back to the wheels themselves. Same rules apply. You want to make sure that it rotates around a single axis, how you would expect a wheel to rotate. You also want to make sure that from the top down, the entire thing is parallel to the, either the X or the Y axis. In this case, we are parallel to the Y axis. Another thing you want to make sure with your vehicle is that from a side view, it's parallel to the ground. It doesn't have to be on the ground. It just needs to be flat compared to the ground. Like you don't want your vehicle doing a wheelie like that. Last thing you want to do before you automate the wheels is make sure that each one has their rotation and scale applied, just like we do with a single wheel. To do that, you go to Object, Apply, Rotation and Scale. With that set, you're ready to automate. Select a wheel, click Automate. Now you notice in this case, we didn't get that parent controller arrow that the single mesh wheel has. That's because this wheel has a parent already and it just follows the vehicle around through the scene. So let's set up the rest of the wheels. As a convenience, you can select multiple wheels and automate them at once. Now that all the wheels are set up, you can drive the vehicle around the scene and the wheels will rotate along as you'd expect.